What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Today, we're back with another reaction video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Young crashing my Caribbean brother, right from across the street now. Young Don, the sauce god. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. If you guys want to see more reaction videos, just show your boy some love. I'm just trying to be a FFB, your favorite fat boy. With that being said, let's get into the reaction video. Possessed me? But I decided that if I asked for the ball one more time and he didn't give it to me, I was gonna grab that metal chair leg and get this video banned from YouTube. Hmm. So if you watch one of my previous animations, trying to impress the high school bully, then you know the story of Don and Eli. So go and watch that video if you want the full backstory on how we got where we are in this one. In a nutshell though, Eli and I started off as friends in the seventh grade, but by the time we got to the eighth, I noticed that Eli started to change. He started to roll with the bad man there, <laughs> giving trouble, getting into fights, and eventually he and I had a falling out. Mm -hmm. Granted, it was over Pokemon, but when you're 13, Pokemon is serious business. Then okay, fast forward to the fast. ninth grade, and now things are a little different. Yeah? Now Y'all remember Yu-Gi-Oh? Puberty is starting to kick in, I'm getting taller, muscles are getting bigger, voice, still not deep, but sounding less like a girl every day, and that testosterone is notorious for turning good little boys and the sex. <laughs> and with all of that comes more confidence and less tolerance for niggas trying to press you, especially over bullshit. So here's what happened. It was after school on a typical hot sunny day in Jamaica, and I'm on the blacktop basketball court by myself shooting hoops in my school uniform. So there I am doing my thing, when through the corner of my eye, I see a familiar face walking up to the court. And I knew what he wanted. He wanted to shoot around. Now, if it was anyone else, I would have gladly welcomed the company. But fuck this guy. Not just because I didn't like him, but because he was also ass at basketball, bro. Dude was garbage, bro. Straight trash. Boo. Garbolini. And I hated him. That was, that was a factor. So on top of the fact that I didn't like his face, I knew that if he started shooting around, I'm just gonna be chasing air balls, bro. And he didn't come with, I wanna make peace energy. He came with, nigga, you better share that ball energy. So, I decided to ignore him. I went from shooting free throws to working on my post-up game. That way, there was no way he was gonna get this ball. So there I am practicing. Oh, that's fanny. Like, yo, shoot the ball. I'll respond. Says it again. Yo, shoot the ball. So then I say to him, nah, I'm working on my layups. Doesn't leave. Still just us on the court. So I'm doing my thing. And I know he's thinking about how he's going to get the ball. I knew he wasn't going to just try and take it from me. Because although I wasn't a tough guy, I was trying to turn into a big dude. And it's not like I was ever a coward. So I figured as long as the ball didn't roll in his direction, I had nothing to be concerned about. Eventually though, I do get tired of practicing layups and I want to start shooting the ball again. So I start to shoot, at first close to the hoop, but with every shot I made, took a step back. And as I did, the ball kept rebounding in my direction. I knew it was only a matter of time before it didn't though. So now I'm close to the three point line. I shoot it, it goes in, but this time the ball didn't rebound in my direction. It goes to Eli. So Eli gets the ball, and now he starts shooting. Of course he misses, the dude's garbage. So I'm standing there, waiting for the dude to pass me back the ball, because I know he saw me make it. For the first two shots, I don't say anything. But then I was like, hey, yo, pass the ball, I made the last shot. Now he's ignoring me. So I'm like, yo, pass my ball. Reminding him that this was my ball that I brought from home. The nigga starts practicing his ball handling skills. He's crossing over, he's dribbling. So now he's not even shooting. 
and he's still ignoring it. So now I'm like, I'm okay, okay, I see what it is. This dude didn't come here to shoot around. He didn't want to get shots up. No, he was just bored and wanted to get under my skin. Well, he was doing a pretty good job. So I'm like, yo, pass my ball. He looked at me, was like, hey, go suck your mother. I was like, oh, oh, so my blood is boiling. My oh, heart rate starts to spike. That's fighting words. Tunnel vision, because it became obvious. The only way I was going to ball back is if I took it from him. And that's when I remembered the broken chain. Before basketball practice the day before, some of the guys were goofing around and throwing around this old metal chair that someone had took from a classroom. It had been outside for a while and it started to rust. And while the guys were tossing it around, one of the legs broke off and I remembered that it was just sitting under the sideline bench. I don't know what possessed me, but I decided that if I asked for the ball one more time, and he didn't give it to me, I was gonna grab that metal chair leg and get this video banned from YouTube. And if you ask anyone that knows me, I'm a good guy, I'm a, I'm a gentle giant. I'm a big old cuddly bear, right? But it was hot, and I had a short temper, and I held a grudge against this dude. So I asked him one more time, yo, give me the pass my ball. Nothing. So I said, and I start to walk over to the bench. I was going to ask again. I was going to grab this and start swinging my niggas. So as I'm walking to the bench, I think God sat up in heaven and looked down. And I was like, yo, this nigga really about to do this shit. If I let him do that, I ain't got nothing to watch on YouTube in 10 years. So I'm reaching under the bench when I hear the rim go kaboom. Eli shot the ball, breaks off the rim. No surprise. But then it bounces gently and rolls right under the bench where the chair leg was. So now I had a decision to make. I Take could get this chair leg and rearrange Eli's medulla oblongata, or what I mean? pick up my ball and go home. So I picked up the chair leg and I ran up on that nigga. I'm kidding, no, no, no. I wouldn't be here right now, guys. I picked up the ball and I went home. I went home. I'm going Good decision. Home. Yo, why you genius, yo. Anyway, okay. So that's the story, guys. I picked up my ball and went home. I went to my dad's office. Did I tell that story yet? I'm not sure. So much going on. But yeah, Eli and I never spoke after that. Never had any issues with him. Never had any issues with me. Just kind of avoided each other. But not even. Just didn't really see him. I think I saw him on graduation day. To be honest, I think he gave me a head nod on graduation day. And I gave him one back. I wonder what he's doing. I just stopped jury for the set. All my niggas ain't need to know. They don't need the most. It's hard to keep it close. Cause I'm doing the most. No, it's hard to keep it track of me. Looking at my wrist, I never feel like I can do too much. Pour my heart and my soul out. If I never get it, they can say I didn't do enough. I hope, I hope, someone can do Young Don Sasuke, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Why do you call, why do you call a man name like I am him? I'm not Young Don Sasuke. I do have the sauce though. I'll see the girlfriend. She know me. She get my name, saving her phone as FFB. Our favorite fat boy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys can see more reaction videos. I get like them ghetto girls. And what is the wild question? What people do? Why else do that? Why? I, I, I never got that. I never got that. But, yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be joyful, and just remember, the world is yours. Peace.